the Sabbath afternoon, September 23. Before we start, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that as we come towards the end of this beautiful book of Ephesians written by Paul so long ago, that we see in it your love and your grace exhibited not just to the people who thought they should be able to follow you, but those that you wanted to follow you. And as we open your word this week, we pray that your Holy Spirit, who worked on their lives and worked on Paul in writing this book, may also work in our lives as well. May we understand more your love, your grace and your care for us. And as we prepare for the day when Jesus does return, we pray that in that intervening time we may show his grace to those around us. And today I'd like to pray for people who are listening, and some of them I don't know where they're from, but I'd like to pray for Joan Philip Gregory and Hazelyn Balliston and Lydia La Fortune and Doreen Hines, who I know listens regularly, and Esmalyn Bryan, and someone whose nickname is I'm Smiling on the Inside. I love that. And Vincent Dederer. Uh, who's visually impaired in Reading in California. Welcome, Vincent, and I hope that these lessons are a blessing to you. And Young Audacity, and the Minstrel 55, who just loves the music that we have on the uh, lesson here. And for Jatin Sharma from Nepal, and Jatin, I think you're the first person to respond from Nepal, and may God bless you, and may you be able to share with those around you, and Chris H. Lord, we just thank you that so many people just love to hear your word, and as I read these lessons, Lord, I pray that they may be a blessing, and that not only will people enjoy them, but lives will be changed and that each of us will walk closer to Jesus each day of our lives. I pray in Jesus' dear name. Amen. Now, memory text this week is Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Let's read that again, Ephesians 2, verses 8 to 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any one should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Visitors to London climb on board the London Eye, a Ferris wheel-like attraction. From 450 feet above the River Thames, you can see it all. Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, and many historic palaces and cathedrals. For New Testament scholar Nicholas Thomas, or Tom, Wright, the letters to the Ephesians, he writes, stands in relation to the rest of Paul's letters, rather like the London Eye. It isn't the longest or fullest of his writings, but it offers a breathtaking view of the entire landscape. From here, as the wheel turns, you get a bird's eye view of one theme after another. And that's from Paul for Everyone, The Prison Letters, published by the Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge, publishing in 2004, and that was from page 3. In Ephesians, Paul is not focused on issues of local concern. The letter reads as though Paul were addressing believers everywhere and Christian churches wherever they exist. The letter's timeless feel allows the breathtaking view Paul offers to invade our own world and thought. As we review each chapter, let's keep this question in mind. What important truths embedded in Ephesians should continue to shape our lives as believers? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.